You've got to tune to 90.3. It's KEXP in Seattle, online, all over the world at kexp.org. My name is Alex. Very excited to welcome Shigeto to the live in-studio performance space. He's here in town for Decibel Festival, playing the Ghostly Showcase, and he's going to play some live tracks for us right now. Shigeto, live on KEXP. Thank you. 
Sasha Ghetto live here on 90.3. It's KEXP in Seattle online at KEXP.org. Uh, Shigeto, hello. Hello. Welcome to KEXP. Thank you. Um, it's an honor to have you back in Seattle performing at this year's Decibel Festival. Oh, man, it's an honor to be here. You were here a couple years ago, if I remember correctly. Yes. And um, performed at Numos with uh, a stellar stellar lineup of, yeah. of producers. And um, that was the opening night, and I remember that was, a, I think, the first time I really saw you perform at least like a whole set. And that was a really long set. It was. It was like almost two hours. It went extra long for some reason. I think it was uh, A-Rab music. Taking his was, time. Uh, yeah, it was taking his time. Yeah. <laughs> Getting his fingers ready. Um, but, man, your live show is one of those um, that I think, if anybody doesn't think electronic music has like a, a visceral aspect, you bring that with, uh, with both the MPC, with what you're doing electronically, and then with the live drums. Thank you, man. It's awesome. Thank so, you um, very much. Yeah. If you ever get a chance to check out Shigeto on tour live, I highly recommend doing so. Uh, released an album earlier this year on Ghostly International Records called No Better Time Than Now. Yes. Um, kind of a mission statement of sorts with that album title. Yeah. Almost a, a message to myself, I guess. Okay. Hopefully to inspire others as well. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I just... Throughout my life, I've spent so much time kind of wallowing in the past and thinking about what I wish I would have done or looking towards what I don't have and what I want. Okay. So I've just been trying to focus more on the moment, as kind of cliche as that sounds, but I, I think it helps me to enjoy life more. No, I think that's important. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's been some changes recently in the last uh, 12 months or so. Oh, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Massive amounts. I mean, last year I spent pretty much half the year on the road. So that gives you a lot of alone time, a lot of self-reflection. Um, also, I uh, moved from Brooklyn back to Michigan uh, to Detroit. Okay. And in turn, got a brand new studio Cool. First time in my life that I've had a separate space to work in, so it changed the workflow a lot. A okay. lot, lot more live audio and stuff like that. Finally had the drums set up, everything, all that good stuff. Uh, also ended a very long relationship of mine, long story short, but mm -hmm. uh, that also gives you a lot of stuff to think about. So, yeah, with all that stuff combined, it kind of pushed me to finish the album and then uh once i was done with it i was listening to it i was really proud of the music but also somewhat afraid because it was such a different direction from my old stuff but you know yet again that saying no better time than now is kind of like hey screw it just yeah just do it change, so change can be scary but i also yeah. think it can be very good <laughs> to sure. uh like you know embrace new challenges and kind of new dynamics definitely um i'm not sure if you're alluding to this but the new record definitely has more of kind of a, a kinetic kick to it i would say more of a pulse um than the previous records and where it is you might be unleashing some older tracks of yours for a dj set um, oh yeah that um are a slightly different style than i think what most people might be familiar with as far as your music goes yeah i mean you know the my first release on ghostly was kind of at a very climactic point of the quote-unquote beat scene. Right. Um, but, you know, when I started producing computer music, uh, it was all house and techno. Um, you know, being from Michigan, growing up around the Detroit scene. So, yeah, with this, with this new album in general, too, like, m I'm a drummer first, so... Now that I had the, the, the space and the environment to use the drums properly, I just wanted to make music that was more geared towards playing, geared towards what I love to do. So, you know, a lot of the more down-tempo stuff, the drums don't really add much to, to it live. It's, it's not necessary, and it's more gimmicky, in my mm -hmm. opinion. But then with these more up-tempo four on the floor or kind of Latin or Afro-Cuban influenced rhythms, it really can take it to a new place. So yeah. 
I kind of wanted to focus on that. But then also this DJ thing today for Red Bull. I think I just might play a bunch of old techno tracks. That should be cool. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, watching you perform right now, there seems to be a, a heavier focus on the live drums than from uh, what I, when I saw you a couple years ago. Oh, definitely. At Numo's, so... Um, yeah, it's really cool. I should have mentioned that the last, the two tracks you played were off the new record. Uh, yes. The first one's called Ringleader. The second one's called Perfect Crime. Um, once again, new record, No Better Time Than Now on Ghostly International Records. Um, ready to get into a couple more? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Shigeto, live on 90.3. It's KEXP in Seattle.
It's Shigeto, live here on 90.3. It's KEXP in Seattle, online at kexp.org. Last track you heard, Ann Arbor, part three and four from the Lineage release from last year. And then right before that, a little one-off single called Our Place. Our Life, I'm sorry. All G, all G, all gravy. All good. Okay, that's good. (laughs) Our Place, that's a place here in Seattle. I'm getting confused. Our Life, little freebie online on your SoundCloud page. Yes, correct. Backslash Shigeto. Um, a couple of people are featured on that track. Yeah, it's uh, uh, a guy named Carlos Garcia, okay. who goes by LO5. Okay. Um, great R&B singer, MC, and producer from Ann Arbor. Okay. And then also a guy named Brandon Mitchell, who goes by Cadence, who's actually featured on Dabre's 2-3 album. Yes. On uh, two separate tracks. Okay. I was going to ask if you have any intention or interest in starting to work more with vocalists, but it seems like that might be some indication. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm always down. I just like to keep the full lengths instrumental, Uh but I'm always, always up for collabing and experimenting and doing other stuff. I think definitely in the future we'll have some more vocal participation. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, Shigeto live here on 90.3. It's KEXP. People can find you online at IamShigeto.com. Yeah, the best place actually would be just the Facebook or the Twitter. The Twitter Shigeto with two underscores at the beginning. Okay. Yes. We can always use Google as well. Yeah, to Google find works. All this stuff. The internet. Yes. It's good for that. It's good stuff. Uh, Shigeto touring in support of his new album, No Better Time Than Now, new on Ghostly International Records. Um, going overseas soon. Yes. And so check out his various websites to see if he's coming to a town near you. Uh, Amazing live show. Looking forward to tonight, as well as this DJ set. Yeah, me as well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I was going to ask, is the most recent record, was that recorded in Detroit in your new place? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I was just wondering if uh, the next record is going to be the first one there or not. No, no, this was definitely, definitely the first one. Everything pretty much was made in the new space. Okay. No yeah. better time than now. Exactly. Yes. Um, Shigeto, thank you once again for coming to KXP. Thank you. It was an honor. Yeah. Um, it's been great. Awesome. Shigeto, live here on 90.3. It's KXP Seattle.